via documentation. Okay. Any, any response? Any guesses? So do you have a guess? In terms of period, knowing the answer, in 2010. Okay, 2010, Kirill? 2005. 2005, great. Uh, bonus question, which of you have started the, that program? Poland, Sobia, Kirill, do you have a German? Sorry? Media German. No, no, C. C. German is in the C, but the R is in the C. If we don't have the German, then I'll go to Sobia. You are worried for? Sobia. Sobia. Okay. Yes. The answer is Sobia. So, Wiki Student Program by Wikimedia Sobia was one of the first organized program in the region. So it was, I mean, we have, so one of my first role at the Wikimedia Foundation was to do like mapping exercise of like what are the different kinds of education activities that has happened in different regions across different countries. And when we went through all these outreach wiki pages, newsletter articles, Facebook discussions, mailing lists, and we gathered our data, I'll talk more about it, we found that there was Wikimedia Sobia, which started one of the first organized uh, education programs. That is to, in 2005. It will be 20 years next year, so I'm sure that I'm going to have a big celebration. Yes. <laughs> um, so it was the Wiki Student Program. I think they did this collaboration with the uh, University, some chemistry university, the University of Belgrade Chemistry Department. Mathematics. Mathematics Department. Okay. Uh, but that somehow that page on Outreach Wiki has been edited and your history has been deleted. <laughs> now you can't find that Wikimedia Serbia started like the program in like 2005. It has been like edited and tied with the new programs. Uh, yeah, as I was talking about, like we found this data from uh, the education mapping exercise. We have a database of like how many or what are the different kinds of like education programs where these education programs are happening uh, across different regions, across different countries. What are the kind of program, programmatic activities they're doing, who, are, who their audiences are. So you can still find this data. It's not up to date anymore. But if you want some inspiration of like how you want to get started with some of the education activities, you can still report to this database. You can find some like descriptions some partners and you know some contact information and get started with uh, connecting. And that's the main theme of our today's session. It's like how could we connect, how could we collaborate, and also standardize some of the practices. Uh, so when we were doing this education mapping exercise, one th th there were three uh, particular projects that show up in the CEE region. And one of them is Wikicamps. Uh, Wikicamps is a engaging Wikimedia activity, you can say, where you're not just like editing Wikipedia, you're editing Wikipedia in a very fun environment. So you are bringing together like, students, youth, uh, youths of different uh, like ages as well to be there to learn editing Wikipedia in a fun way. It's a it's a very active project across um, many countries in in the CE region: Serbia, Romania, Macedonia, Albania. Uh, Forgetting a few more. Hungary? You had a collaboration with Wikimedia Hungary on one of your video camps, right? It would work at Yeah. So we have like Wiki Camps as one of our programs. Then we have Senior Right Wikipedia, which is one of the flagship uh, program by Wikimedia Czech Republic. And it's, a very, it's one of my favorite I have biases for the CE region and the programs. It's one of my favorite programs in the region where they involve, uh, you know, 
like you know when when we were oh, sorry i'll just give more context when we were working on like giving a definition of like what education means in the movement where like you know students of like different ages they learn how to contribute to wikipedia and this is a different audience that you know they target to and they involve them with partnerships that they have identified with libraries they bring together the senior citizens to those local libraries where they find those infrastructure support they find they collaborate with the librarians who help the, these uh, senior citizens to like you know how to contribute to wikipedia and they it's available for them to like to be there anytime and you know through editathons through workshops and it's one of my favorite uh, projects in the uh, in the region uh, it's also a project that has been uh, done i'm assuming in estonia uh, but in the last cee conference when i was talking to someone and they were like facing this challenge around like how this program you know, but where while they did try to do it, but it did not go well for them. So that kind of like sparked my interest for like today's session, which is like there are many common programs or activities that are happening, or that are organized by different affiliates in the region. But as a reason, we do not have like uh, standardized practices on like how could we. How could we like create some guidelines? How could we map some of these challenges? And how could we uh, create like a your know, peer learning group among like these programs, like or the leadership leaders in these programs, to so, like take these programs to like other countries, other regions, but so that someone does not have to like start it from the scratch, and you have like a support available for you. To whom that like, you can reach out to and you know get something new or start something new in your country. Uh, the other program I think is the is the hottest program like the Wiki Clubs. It's like I'm assuming almost like every country or not I won't say every country but many countries in the CE or many affiliates in the CE region have the, these programs. I think the pictures I have here is one from Armenia and the other one is from. Macedonia. Uh, the Macedonia Wiki Club was the glam. Uh, they, they did a lot of like glam activities with the Wiki Club's members in Macedonia, and the, the Wiki Clubs are mostly like a student clubs of like youth, uh, school students or college going students. They bring them together. They provide them some support and the learning space, and they they like. They provide that support for them to like you know get engaged, find that peer learning, and uh, then they run activities. They do like editathons, photo walks, and many other activities uh, in in the region. So, uh, where are these stories? Like, how, where can you find these stories about like what's happening in the region? So currently we have the education newsletter, uh, which is a monthly newsletter published by the Wikipedia and Education User Group. And, and if you want to meet Wikipedia and Education User Group, we have Philip there as one of the board members. Uh, it's published by a, a volunteer group within the Wikipedia and Education User Group, and they they help us collect the stories of like the work that are happening in our movement. And it's shared, you know, in in a newsletter format, so you can always go there and refer to like what are the different kinds of like activities that are happening in our in our movement. And it's not just about the CE, but all across the world. Um, but when we are talking about like having access to stories and having access to those support spaces. We, the, the missing chapter here is the support spaces. Like, how could I learn? Uh, I'm from India, so how could, if I want to start like a wiki club in India, which I know is a different context that CEE is, but what is like the, what is like the pathway for like getting started on something like that? Like, how could we learn that? Was well, the first basic thing that uh, the CEE or like, Wikimedia Serbia, Wikimedia Romania, uh, you know, did what kind of assessment they did, how how they identified their audiences, how they 
identified like programs, who they partnered with. So these are kind of the basic information that are that currently missing in our in, 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 in the education spaces. And while we are we have knowledge holders and everyone have their own experience, everyone have their own learnings of like how these programs happen in their own country, in their own region. We have not like standardized these practices yet. Like I know like maybe the challenges that Serbia had would not be the challenges that Macedonia would have. But still, we need to like map some of those challenges. And I think like Philip, maybe this is something that you will be doing tomorrow on like talking about the interregional cooperation. Yeah. So that's why it's a plug-in. Like tomorrow is a much better session on like how to do <laughs> interregional cooperation. So you know. And but yeah, I mean that was a call for like how we could I mean we have identified some of these common programs within the region. How could we build these programs as the programs of the CE and you know provide that support to the other regions who wants to like work on it and how what what is the support looks like, who are the partner, who are the affiliates, who are the stakeholders that need to be get involved and work on it. But just because we talked about this, we have like some experience from like Turkey about it. Okay. Yeah, our experience with uh, in Turkey is like uh, I'm one of the members of the uh, founders of the Community Music of Turkey, and uh, one of our main activities is uh, working with universities. Uh, we started our activities by visiting universities and asking uh, instructors to give Wikipedia assignments. Uh, to their students. This is because mainly because I had a chance to attend some uh, global active, um, conferences like this, and I heard that others were doing this. Uh, therefore, uh, I thought, why we don't uh, do the same? Uh, other uh, we provide, uh, work with universities. We continue doing this, and uh, later in the recent years, we started to work with student clubs and have students to uh, have PK student clubs in their universities. That's also an idea that we received and heard from others, but actually in such conferences, but it usually works like this. We heard one word, oh, our main is that we can why we don't. And we, all we know is this word, we can come, and we think of uh, what we can do, uh, what, uh, what we can teach or what can be involved in this club, or uh, we heard the word club, and we try to begin uh, this uh, concept. Usually we don't know much uh, about uh, what actually others are doing, but we imagine uh, we get some words, sentences, some, some recommendations, advices from friends, in uh, sometimes personal uh, conversations have that, and then we build our own program around it. Uh, now we are willing to work with secondary schools like that, as well as we cannot pull our courage to do this much. We know that our, uh, other, in other countries, there are other groups working with high schools and secondary schools and even younger ones. Uh, but uh, we don't have people in our group that are experienced in working with this age group. And uh, so we don't know what, uh, what are the different ways or different activities we can do with these groups. Uh, but this is our goal to start to work with younger age groups. Uh, and again, yes, we heard this word Wikicom as well, and this year we tried this, uh, we had a Wikicom experience, uh, which went well, uh, but uh, we would like to, in this camp, uh, we um, uh, had collaboration with Wikimedia uh, Georgia, and a group of Georgian students with their teachers participated to our camp, and also we had uh, Turkish students, so I thought that we had a collaboration. Uh, it helps. These are the activities uh, that we are doing. Thanks, Bazaar. I mean, you mentioned that mostly the work that you did is because like, you heard it you know, during a conference and you heard Wikicam and you just like, where did you go to like find resources around like, Wikicam? Uh, really, we, we read this. Uh, Bulletin, okay. bulletin. We uh, hear the, the stories, yeah. the newsletter. Yeah. Uh, that helps a lot, but that doesn't help a lot uh, to, uh, to prepare the curriculum or anything like this. Yes. Yeah. And and how 
how did this collaboration happen between you and Wikimedia Georgia? Uh, it's just because of Mehman, we had good uh, relations, and uh, he had this idea of taking uh, their uh, crafts uh, to Turkey, and we said, let's do it together, and uh, let some Turkish students be involved as well, so we do it together. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So, in terms of like getting started with a new program or a new project, what do you think? What do you, what do you uh, what have you found as a challenge of like getting started? With? Uh, Big challenge. Well, being bold, <laughs> feeling the, the courage, and the big challenge is having the curriculum. The Wikipedia or Wikimedia projects are so huge. Where to start from? Uh, and what should be the method? Uh, it is the biggest challenge. Uh, one of the first uh, university education uh, university courses that I attended was. Upon the request of a friend who said that who is a very active member in Turkish Wikipedia, and he said that there is a university instructor who is teach, uh, giving Wikipedia assignments to his students, but he wants an experienced Wikimedia to be in their class, and he found him, he wrote to him. This is this will be the third year he is asking, but his university cannot be feel himself ready to go and uh, give this course. So I said, I will do it. And I did it. Uh, but uh, probably if there was, uh, because I had some experience of doing this, uh, but this person didn't have uh, knowledge or the skills of you know, uh, making such an activity. There was relations there uh, already, and there was need there, but uh, it had to wait like two years. Mm -hmm. well, thanks for sharing that. Um, you mentioned that you have like partnerships with like 25 universities in 12 yes. cities. Yes. Have you thought of like sharing your success stories with the rest mm -hmm. of the CBE region? Mm -hmm. How you managed to have this partnership, even when like Turkey went through such a difficult time with like the Wikipedia ban and everything. Yes. So have you thought of anything? Where do you usually share your work? Um, about this, I have made uh, a talk in a uh, previous in several uh, events like this, and starting again to bulletins, education bulletins, or uh, blog posts. That's it. I don't know how many people read or <laughs> reach them, uh, but those are the ways that I can find. I'm personal conversations with other people, uh, working again in such conferences, and then tell them that's it. No, yeah, I mean, as we were talking about like this, finding these like support spaces or the pathways, I think like, when you start something, it's like, okay, these are like our experiences, and you find like other affiliates within the CE region who are working on such things. Maybe we could also like find like, these are our experiences in the CE region, how we approach this partnerships, what are the activities we do. So it could be like more collaborative space of like working together it's as well. Of course, yeah. of names and more detailed information, of course. Again, uh, maybe all I can provide is giving such kind of activities uh, <laughs> having that, that kind of thing. Um, thanks, thanks for that. Um, oh yeah, yeah, let's collaborate. Yes, okay. I, I thought that uh, it's just we could not only collaborate on uh, the methods and the curriculum, but also maybe we could in, in the sea region could uh, search about uh, together about funding opportunities because there are some funding opportunities. We should not be rely on Wikimedia uh, Foundation funds, etc. Uh, together, uh, we can apply for some uh, places for funding uh, to fund education activities. And also, uh, I would love to have a collaboration on researching about uh, related to Wikimedia projects and um, education activities. Uh, I think it was really useful. Yeah, I, I remember like uh, last year, I think it was, uh, you, because you mentioned about the funding opportunities, last year it was like Wikimedia Ireland, uh, Wikimedia Ireland, Wikimedia, no, it's not out of the CE region, but Wikimedia Ireland, Basque Wikimedia user group, I can't remember the other one, three of these user groups or chapters, they collaborated together to find like a Erasmus Plus funding, uh, to work on like uh, teachers training around Wikipedia and so yeah you do have like different funding opportunities available so that also gives like a motivational incentive like when you 
start showing the impact of our work, you are able to access to like other resources uh, beyond Wikimedia funding to like maybe uh, develop some new things and work on work on like different objectives or different with like different approaches. Um, so I think we are almost at time. So uh, oh sure, go ahead. Yeah, um, I was curious maybe you already told us or um, what motivated the universities as students to be part of so this uh, uh -huh. okay. when you go when you went to the university to draw for your project. Well, we tell them about the projects and it is usually the first time that uh, they learn that ah uh, we can be edit it mm. and they want to hear about it. Uh, sometimes we motivate um, people like uh, they are very much interested in how can we use it in our series, etc. That mm -hmm. it can be useful in um, uh, applying to uh, uh, oh, as, a, yeah. um, uh, as the social work you do, you can show your contributions, etc. Sometimes we use this, but usually just learning. For example, in schools, there are uh, now. Uh, in many universities, there are courses about social responsibility courses or volunteerism courses. Sometimes we try to we integrate this uh, Wikimedia contributions to that courses. Sometimes we try to integrate it to critical writing mm -hmm. courses. And sometimes uh, just general courses. We ask uh, um, instructors to uh, give assignments, Wikimedia assignments, to write about the topics. And they, they learn at the class, it's a Wikimedia projects. Uh, it can be different, there are different mm -hmm. work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just went with like, you know, they like four, <laughs> like how, why we should like do collaborations, I mean, I'm, I'm still like, with stuff. okay. Uh, we need to have like some common objectives, like why are we doing wiki camps? Why is the wiki camps working in the CE region? That gives us like a, when we come together, collaborate, it comes, it gives us like a common objective. It gives us like, okay, this is the audience, or this is the students, or the youth group that we are targeting. This is what we're helping them learn through those Wikimedia projects. But it helps us like having those common objectives. It gives us a framework of like development because it should not, not to be limited within the same kind of a structure every year, but what could new be added, what could else be uh, innovated through that, uh, helps us in evaluate. We can see how, what are the things that are working in, across different countries, what are things that are not working, what should be some kind of like intervention that needs to be done, and also gives us a collaboration platform. Like one of the things that came up in the Education Hub research was the programmatic loneliness. I, I really like this word of like programmatic loneliness. Like sometimes we work in a movement such an isolated way. We do not we do not identify or find who who is the other person we need to like collaborate with. Who is the other person we need to like learn something from together. So so we we are living with a few questions, but we can also like happy to like take some more questions here. Uh, like what are some of the support that. The CE region needs in terms of like you know documenting or disseminating these kind of like information. Uh, what are the current barriers in the CE region, and what are some other models that we can document as a region together? And Thank you. Do we have questions? There's a user group uh, it, on, or it works on education projects. Um, is it related to this Wiki Edu, which is like a separate NGO, as I understand? Yes. Uh, Philip sitting next to you is the part of the Wiki Yes, so the Wikipedia uh, Education User Group is just a user. We don't have an organization behind it, so we're not found mm -hmm. anywhere. Um, what you might be thinking of is Wiki Education Foundation, which yeah. is a different thing that's Okay. That's the U.S. and Canada yes. um, education program. Okay. Um, so, but we are connected and we work together. But a, a staff member is on our board, so it's it's complicated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have more questions? 
questions? I want to add one thing about, about, sure, to about this, about what is more challenging thing. The more the most, one of the most challenging thing is evaluation. We don't know how to evaluate, and we would love to learn from others how do they evaluate success in or the results of their education program. That is the most the part, and I believe some uh, support could come from there. From others. I also think like continuation is also a thing. Like one of the things that uh, I think uh, a lot of the community programs that go through is like how to have that retention of a group that you have engaged previously, how to like keep them motivated, how to continue some other work with them. So like evaluation, continuation is one of the factors. I mean, uh, we, we, we could like definitely think of like some ways of like collaboration mm -hmm. and see like how we could create more CEE products. I don't know why I won't say that product here. It's not a problem. Like CEE programs uh, go from from and beyond CEE to other regions and inspire. I think like a lot of the CEE programs have inspired. Like I was going through some documents on Outreach Wiki today, like Wiki Clubs, which was started in actually uh, the CEE Hub. And it, it, it became very active in Bangladesh and they did like a lot of work in Bangladesh as well. So how could we also like document these success stories of like what are the different kind of programs that inspired uh, other regions? Uh, so Actually yeah. my difficulty about innovation is also related with retention, to say. Uh, it seems that uh, many times we make an activity as a cool and it seems that students just do editing for that class and later nothing is happening. And then two years later, all of a sudden one student comes from university, for example, as, uh, who says I'm very active at editing and starting a little club in his university. And uh, when we ask, how did you start? Uh, he says, says, three years ago, you were in my school and you told me, and since then I haven't done for two years anything, but now I'm ready. So uh, we don't know how to evaluate this. Actually, it's, it's not that right after, it might not be people are not reproducing anything right after a workshop or etc. But actually, we do have an impact, an impact on them. But we don't know how to evaluate this. This is my biggest problem about evaluation. Tony, we need to find a solution. <laughs> no, thank you everyone, thanks again for this. Thank